This roof is about to explode off this building. Is he here? the gold. It's Bully versus Bro. Shit just got real, Don. Shit just got real. Shit the bed. Marty Squirrel, not even advertised for this event. As we said, makes a hobby show up unannounced. I don't think he likes surprising this entertainment. Best OTT matches that I've had the pleasure of calling and featured that man in the ring, Marty Scurll. And this one tonight may just top them all. 500 plus rabid Irish wrestling fans on their feet. And the holy shit that breaks up before the match even starts. Do you remember when Galloway left the ring and I said, how do you follow that? This, this is how you follow that, I know. Riddle versus Scurll, here in the Tivoli. I get is that he just enjoys what he does. He loves getting into that ring and he just loves fighting. He loves competition. He's so relaxed about it. And I think he will relish the fact that he's had to change his game plan. The fact of the matter is, as he says himself, he keeps things very simple. You're not going to see set, you know, running sent You're not going to see 450 corkscrew splashes. You are going to see kicks. You are going to see punches. And you're going to see takedowns. And it doesn't matter if it's Pete Dunne or if it's Marty's girl, Matt Riddle is Matt Riddle. Well, we've seen him do it in an octagon. Tonight we see him do it in a squared circle. If you don't know who Matt Riddle is, first of all, what the hell is wrong with you? And second of all, this man is as legit as it comes. Left the UFC undefeated, and now brings that style to the wrestling ring. What you may have noticed, he was not sport wrestling boots. He wrestles barefoot, and he says that gives him a better grip helps him control himself around the ring just that little bit better. There you have it, Donald. As this action gets underway, we are seeing a return to that amateur freestyle wrestling of Riddle. He passes. Bro TT is right. In my opinion, the worst thing Marty Skrull can do here is try and match the style of Matt Riddle. Marty Skrull's got to be Marty Skrull, because if he's playing into Riddle's hands, then that's going to go one way. Well, that's a valid point, on The villain is a very formidable competitor. Matt Riddle, this freelance Greco-Roman wrestling style, has been this since he was a small kid. He's moving to the arm lock. He's using the transition. Actually, for position more than actually trying to tap him this early in the match. They've talked about earlier on. His initial stage is more feeling out his opponent. 
continuity from Scarl. Transitions, hammerlock to headlock. Headlock takeover. Oh, but the head scissors in the middle. Marty's out. Oh. Well, start. Now, if you don't know much about Marty Scarl, I'll ask again what the hell is wrong with him. But this man, a lot of the wrestling match for him is in the mind. He tries to psych out his opponent, and he tries to put them off their game. So we're going to have to see if this laissez-faire attitude of Matt Riddle can be debunked by the bill. Oh, Matt Riddle's aware. He pointed to, to the villain, and he realized, you don't put your fingers out there against Marty Scarlett, you no. might lose him. I hope we don't see him do that to Matt Riddle, but at the exact same time, I kind of do. Oh, oh, Look he's got his back. That. He's got for the rear naked. He's got, the, he's got both hooks in. This could be it right now. But is it down under the chin? I don't know if it's under the chin properly yet, Don. He's got both, he's got. both hooks are in. The villain finding a way out. Riddle wisely lets it go. But that was there. I don't know if the arm was fully under the chin, but he had both hooks in. This is a physical game of chess right now. You saw how quickly Matt Riddle got into that position. He is a dangerous, dangerous opponent for him. Oh, transition to the armbar! The monkey film transition to the armbar! He's trying to lock it in, but fighting out of it. He hasn't got it extended yet. Oh! Oh! oh. Hard to transition himself! And look at the slickness of the transitions from the bro, Matt Riddle. Oh no, he's got the ropes, he's got the ropes. The villain is as villain does, he doesn't let it go to the full extent of that fight game. Which is within the rules. Technically you, you, No, you have a fight count to work with there. We've, come on, we've had this conversation before. Yes, we have, and I've talked about the letter of the law and yeah. the spirit of the and law. And how many times has he got DQ'd for it? Yeah? No, we've okay, never seen okay, it. Okay, okay. Marty Skrull is a self-professed villain. But as I've always spoken about, this OTT crowd almost sees him as a cult leader. They love to get behind the man. He's the villain that they love to love, not the villain they love to hate. Girl calls that a welcome? Come on, sadistic. I kind of love it. I think the technical name for that is a receipt, Don. Smartest way for Marty Scarl. Smarty Scarl, I'm like, eh, eh. Apron. Oh, catches it. it. Pulls him out, driven face first to that apron. The bro hits the ropes. Baseball slide, nobody home. Oh! Unbelievable. No nonsense. Slap the lips clean off his face almost. One of the major talking points of this match for me is going to be whether or not the bro is almost like kryptonite uh, for Skrull's tactics. His mind oh. control, look at the deadlift strength. And he dumps him! And he, and he keeps it hooked! We have never seen anyone manhandle the villain Marty He's going this way and he's still not letting go! He's going for the hat trick. That core strength is unbelievable. And what I was saying is if Marty tries to get inside the bro's head and it doesn't work, what is his plan B? That's what we're going to have to see as this match gets older. Oh, the sickening thought as Shin connects with chest. Oh, and again. Anyone out there who 
does anything about MMA, they'll know. Oh my god. But the kicks that land in a slap haven't got the power behind them. It's the ones that land those deep thuds. Dull thuds that cause the real damage. And that's exactly what really just landed in the chest of Marcus Girl twice in a row. Into the outside. Hugging it out with his brow. Yeah, it's a deep crowd of terrible types of music. And the villain conducts his choir. Like I said, the cult. Oh no, to the eyes. You're only as strong as your eyes or your balls. It's a real equalizer. Yeah, you get those two mixed up. Skrull's offense, like you were alluding to earlier, is going to target parts of the body that it's impossible to build muscle on, like your fingers, for instance. And in that point, you're just as vulnerable as anybody. Tying up those arms. Oh, come on. Mel Fox, a referee here, on top of the action. Again, we see it, as you say, Don, using the full extent of that five count. Scoops him up. Oh, backbreaker driving the knee into the spine. Riddle kicks out, but he's in a whole world of hurt there. Look at the anguish in his face, though. Girl's eyes. I don't know that he's still fully with us. He's been dropped on the base of his skull. I don't think Marty knows where he is. Marty Skrull is in a bad way here, guys. He's just back to his feet, but he's in a bad way. The bro! Oh! Elevation before hitting that forearm to the jaw. Skrull. Oh, and then a T bone suplex. We do call them deep waters because once you get in, it's hard to get out. Like I said, unbelievable core strength. The only limit to what Riddle is capable of in the ring is his own imagination. Physically, he can do absolutely anything he wants to do. We hear that dull thud again. That isn't the foot slapping across the chest, that is the shin bone digging in deep. Oh, roll right. up! Oh, he's just out. Oh no, look at the display of power! Oh my god! And drops him! <laughs> and he's kept him locked! Only a two count, but like I said, the two counts are getting longer, we're getting closer. We've 
never seen some strong men in an OTT ring before, though. We've never seen a display of strength that we're seeing from that ring. He's not the biggest guy we've ever had on that ring. But Jesus Christ, pound for pound, that guy, he's manhandling the ring. He's ragdolling on occasions. The mighty girl is staying with him. But we've never seen him get that kind of treatment at all. Oh no, oh no. We're going to counteract that. Pretty well scouted. Off the ropes now. Just kidding. Oh. Taking the base out from under the blow. Hardy senses he's onto something. Off the ropes. Oh! He's the front kick and a knee lift. Oh, he's got him hooked up. Oh, wow. Reversal. in a bad way here. Now Fox and both are able to continue. Look at the look in his eyes. Look at the look in the villain's eyes. He wants it. He wants it. Oh, he's caught it! <laughs> oh my god, that was an awkward landing for Riddle. Oh no! He's gonna break his fingers down. <laughs> ah! Oh my god, that never gets any easier to see! Have you heard that crack all the way back? In Las Vegas, Nevada. The crowd, the crowd for once mapping my feelings towards that move. I think Riddle went for the puck and back in the place, but that was going to be hand. Oh, shoots down. It's the waist lock. It's the elbow. It's another. Oh, he's caught it. Oh, no. Oh, take it away. Locked in. Locked in in the middle, Don. The ropes. Oh! He's made it. Very smart from that really. If you can't get there alone, you gotta take him with you. The power to be able to drag not only his own body weight, but that of Marty Skrull with him. Staggering. Take so many of them. Peter blows to the skull. Ah. Bro firing back. Oh. Those huge body kicks. No, no, no. Oh no! No, no, oh no, no. God. Oh my god. Ah. Oh my god! Well, we've never seen that before. A broken metatarsal. And that Riddle's base is gone. All his offense is gone. All that wrestling base is gone. Oh, Donnie's broke. Skrull was waiting when he saw those exposed toes. Just waiting for the opportunity to hit that. That's amazing. Oh! On a pile driver. He stuck him on his head. And his neck folded. Kick out a one. Kick out a one. And that is making a point. That is making a statement for Matt Riddle. Matt Riddle's not human. 
Bob Riddle is not human. Oh, oh. Push him up, Farmer's Carry. Oh! Go to sleep, Marty Skull. Oh, no. The pole Shot by Tombstone, pole driver. <laughs> what? Marty Skull just kicked out of a jumping Tombstone pile driver. Bro. And yes, you heard that right. Bro! Neither mind but I'm left in the tank. Riddle laying those kicks in once more. Oh, hooks the arm. Oh, he's eating elbows. Look at that waist lock again. Oh, no. Strength from Marty. Oh, Drives wow. him face first. Powerbomb holds him. This girl's getting frustrated now. He's used pretty much everything he's got. He has been able to put Riddle away. So he's going back to the chicken wing. Almost a guarantee. And it's locked in. My little submission defense is top notch. And he's, he's got a tap. No shame in that. And five hundred plus jump to their feet. Riddle slapping the bottom frustration, but like I said, there is absolutely no shame in topping out to Marty Skrull's chicken wing. One of the most devastating submission moves anywhere in the wrestling world. You know, it's a staggering thing to have to say, but technically, Matt Riddle is still a rookie when it comes to the world of professional wrestling. And so wisely, he's looking ahead of his future and having so many more years in the time. It would have been brave or courageous, you might say, to hold on there. Why? Why break that arm to put yourself out for number one to have a good break after go through surgery? The sensible thing was the top. Marty Skrull raises that ring of honor, television championship belt high. Amazing show of sportsmanship from Riddle, applauding as Skrull raises that ROH TV title up.
absolute son of a bitch. <laughs> You've got this good after two years. <laughs> Once again with the Regulate Master. 